Hello, Oz here with Datascopic, and I'm going to just give you a little behind the scenes view of what it takes to make bogus data for either a screencast like this or um, examples for screenshots, examples for classes, and working with clients who may have a lot of data and I'm trying to test a solution and they've given me say you know 2,000 rows and 100 columns of data and I just need to test out an example on a small bit of information so I've got here I have some information that I want to create and maybe do a quick pivot table so we've got names call duration call type and was the call recorded or not and we're going to use rand and rand between in order to make this happen so first of all let's have some random dates okay so um what is that okay so random dates and here are the dates that I want to use and in order to get random dates I want to turn these into numbers so I'm going to turn this into numbers alright and those are that's the start um, September 10th of 2011 is 40,796 and the same for the 5th of April alright I want to go here and say equals rand between and I'm going to use 40796 comma 41004 good all right and the column is already set up to be dates if you see this here if we change it to numbers is going to show a number but we do want this formatted as dates as a short date all right so I'm gonna just copy down and say let's go just down to here all right so we've got random dates that we can work with now copy and paste as values so we no longer have that formula in there now names so we've got seven names. Say equals rand between one through seven. Okay. Ah, oh, I've got that negative in here. Accidentally typed that. Okay, good. Double click down and I'm gonna copy and paste as values. And now I'm gonna keep that there. And now I'm going to replace okay, wherever there is a one I want tone call okay. two mod three brace. Four, Denise. Five, Winnie. Six, Greg. Okay. And seven is Xavier. All right, so we've got some random names for these seven people on different dates. Now, how about call duration? I'm going to use now if we do rand equals rand, that gives us a random number, and I don't like the idea of a call duration that say 0 0.85 minutes. So I do want to have this in minutes. Okay, so what I can do is say, hmm, okay, I'm going to multiply this times, let's 
say 10. Yeah. Well, 6.27 call makes sense. All right, let's do that. Okay. That still looks strange. All right, so let's go multiply this times 100. Okay, so yeah, 37 minute call makes sense. 74 minute, okay. 1.8, so we've got a lot of good random numbers that make sense for call durations. Copy, paste as values, great. And a call type, again, equals rand between. And we've got um, three types, but let's play a little bit here. One and comma, let's say four. And we're just going to mess around with the sample sizes. Copy, paste these values. Okay. And I'm um, going to say, I'll just go ahead. Place. Let's say um one is a complaint. Place all and two is um they call them about course scheduling. Place all and let's say three is a call about order status. Replace all. And let's say that fours are also calls about order status. Replace all. All right. So we've got a lot of calls that are about call statuses. And say, was the call recorded or not? Again, let's play a little bit and then say um, equals rand between say one to three. All right, back down and copy, paste these values, and the thing that is a one will be yes. Twos will be no, and three will be no. Great. All right. So we've got some good data here, good random data. And let's say, okay, we're going to do a quick pivot table demonstration and say, assert pivot table and I've got two screens here so a lot of things are showing up on a separate monitor all right new worksheet okay now with the pivot table I'm gonna do um, names in our row and then call type in the columns and call duration will be values so we've got a sum of call durations and let's reduce these um, decimal places okay so now we can see that Bernard has taken 127 minutes worth of complaints in our date range and he's taken a total of 927 minutes worth of calls, which is different from, say, Winnie, who's taking a total of 434 minutes worth of calls. And clearly, the number of calls that come in is about order status, 2,338 minutes. And Denise has taken most of those calls. She's 
logged in 507 minutes worth of order status calls. So there you have it. We have done, we have generated a set of bogus data so that we can test a solution. We can generate data to give a um, pivot table example. So that's a lot. That's it. Thanks a lot and send in more questions.